Good morning. Hello there. Welcome to another studio vlog. Nice to see you here. This morning, me and my mom are headed into DC to see the Van Gogh experience thing. I don't know. We bought tickets for it back in like April or May, so I am super excited. We've been waiting a really long time, and we're just about to head out the door. Uh, let's go to DC to see the Van Gogh thing. I'm so excited. Van Gogh has like always been one of my really favorite artists. So, see you there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a situation. Right, so my studio is a mess. It's bad. It's real bad. And just just don't even ask me how it got to be like this because I don't know. I don't have the answer. It seems like it happened really fast. I swear, like three weeks ago, it was fine, it was fine, it was great, and I could like actually make stuff in here, um, but now... It's not great, it's not fine, it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I was planning on actually making some art today, making some stickers or prints or something, but I can't really get to my desk. You know, there's a few reasons why it's a little wild in here. It didn't just like happen for no reason at all. I don't know if you can hear that. Just basement things. Hearing every time when someone flushes the toilet. Yeah, okay. Um, but none of them are good reasons. So today I have a few hours to just work on trying to clean up this room and um, get my life back together a little bit. Yeah, it really needs to happen because I want to start a new painting, but I just really can't do that right now, not with how it is in here. And I figured it's better to just get it all organized instead of just trying to clean up one little space to work in. <sighs> I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I'm so tired though. Okay. I'm procrastinating at this point.
Okay, now that my studio is finally clean again, it feels so weird in here. It feels like a whole different room, but it's so nice. I love it. I'm so happy to have my studio back. I'm so glad that it's clean and organized again and that I can actually walk around. Thank you, Pepper. Now that I finally took the time to actually clean up my studio, <laughs> hours and hours if I'm being honest. Um, I'm going to reward myself by opening this package that I'm super excited about. Let me show you. <laughs> okay. Ugh. It's an easel! I got a new easel! I'm so excited! This easel was actually gifted to me by Vizwin. They were so, so awesome to reach out to me and see if I wanted a new easel. And honestly, perfect timing because I am planning a painting video very, very soon. So I'm so excited to get this opened and see what my easel looks like. So this one actually makes a ton of different easels, but I chose the portable collapsible H-frame easel that is made with beech wood. It can actually hold two canvases at once and it also comes with some wheels so that when you collapse it, it's super easy to move around because this feels like a pretty hefty boy. Just don't even ask me how I got it down here. All right, let's open this thing up. I love it. I love it so much. Ugh, I love it. I've never had like an actually nice easel before. Anyway, I think that is going to be it for this video. I know there wasn't a lot of art making or any art making. Was there? Thank you so much again to Vizwin for sending me this easel. It is definitely the nicest easel I have ever owned or even used ever, and I'm so excited about it. I will be leaving a link below to their Amazon shop as well as a link to this specific easel in case you're interested or you wanna check it out. I highly suggest it because honestly, there are so many cool things about this easel and it's just, it's a good one. It's a good one. So if you're in the market for an easel, check this one out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.